Hey Firefox, what are you doing? Hey Eagle Eyes, how are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, I am getting ready to build a shelter for wilderness survival. Building a shelter? Here on Long Island? Well, uh, you need to be prepared. Uh, Scouts are supposed to be prepared, right? Isn't that uh, something that you guys do? Yeah, in fact, uh, being prepared is the scout motto. Yeah, I thought I heard that before. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. So in wilderness survival, what we need to do is to assess our environment and figure out what would be the best place to build a shelter. So Eagle Eyes, I was looking in our forest and I found this big tree. Do you think that this tree would be a great shelter? Well, assessing this tree, I feel that the spiky leaves will make it hard to access the trunk of the tree, which we need in order to make, uh, for example, a ridge line, which could be one of the wilderness survival shelters that we could make here. Oh, okay. I, I get your point, Eagle Eyes. Maybe. A, a spiky trunk would not be the best kind of tree to use. But guess what? I found another tree that looks even better. It's smooth. Come with me. Look at this tree. Wow. They call this the NBA's tree. The NBA tree? Well, the NBA tree is really smooth. I think we could really tie a good knot on this one. Sounds what do good you think? to me. Yeah. Okay. Let's get ready. Let's do it. So Firefox, what things do you have to be mindful of when you're building shelters in the wilderness? Well, you have to, one thing for sure, in addition to the terrain and environment, you need to be careful for wild critters. And in our part of the woods, we've got a specific wild critter. It's called the black fox. And I think I see one right now. There she is, a real live black fox. You gotta be careful when you approach this, this critter. So, black fox can be dangerous. So just be careful and make sure that you don't let this critter come into your shelter. Okay, so here we have all the supplies that we're gonna need in order to make our wilderness shelter. So we have our tarp that we're gonna use, we have the stake that we're gonna go hammer into the ground, and we have this hatchet that we're gonna use to hammer the stake into the ground. And also we need some rope in order to create the ridge line. Firefox, do you have any rope on you? Yes, Eagle Eyes, I have this rope right here. Firefox, uh, this looks a little bit too short in order to create our ridge line. It's too short for the tarp. Are you sure? You don't think this is enough? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be long enough. Do you have any other rope on you? I think we need it. I do. I have one more source for rope. It's called the magic woggle. It's magic this. Woggle. The woggle can save your life. And let's see how we're going to use this woggle to build our shelter. Okay, so we've got our piece of wood and I'm going to need to make it into a stake. Just going to sharpen the end so that we've got ourselves a tip. Now we're going to be putting it into the ground. You have to be careful when you're using a hatchet especially if you're using it as a hammer, because you don't want it to go, to go right into your face. So we're going to keep it to the side, and we're going to hammer it down. I think, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that'll be secure. That'll be fine for securing our rope to it. Eagle Eyes, why don't you come in here and take a look at this. Yeah, I think it looks good. So now what we're gonna do is prepare our rope. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna take this woggle and I'm gonna go unravel it so that I have a piece of rope. And what I'm gonna do to connect it to my other piece of rope is tie a sheet bend knot. The purpose of the sheet bend knot is attaching ropes together. It's a really strong knot and it's easy to tie and I'm gonna go teach you how to do it. So let's unravel this woggle. You're just following the uh, different strands that you have made and you're just uh, working at it to unravel it. So we're 
are getting along. Okay, so now we have our uh, piece of string from the woggle, and now we have uh, the piece of string of our main rope. So, how to tie the sheet bend knot. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go first start with a loop, uh, ju just making a loop right at the end. Uh, make sure it's big enough for you, just like this. So now we have our other piece of rope. We're going to go put it through the hole, just like this. Now, we're going to go under the loop. You see that just right there? So now, we just uh, put it through the hole and under the loop. And now, we're going to go pass it through the same strand of the same type of rope. So, just like this. Go through there and pull together on the two ropes. And there, you have your sheet bend knot. It's going to hold it in place. Now we're going to go make our ridge line using various knots. So we're going to go use the two half hitch tied to the basketball pole, and then we're going to go use the taut line hitch attached to our stake here in order to make our ridge line using our rope. So the two half hitch. In order to do that, you're just going to have a loop. You're just going to go uh, have your rope passed around that, and just make a loop just like this. From there, you're just going to go put your running end through this loop, you know, just like that. And you do the same thing on this outer rope here. Just make your second loop, just like that. And that is your two half hitch. Just slide it down like that. Okay, move it to the right length. Now we're going to go move on down to our stake here. And this, like I said earlier, we're going to be using our top line hitch. To make the top line hitch, just like the two half hitch, have a loop set up just right here. And now you're going to go use your running end of the rope and pass it through the loop once. You do the same thing twice. And then from here, you're going to go under and over into another loop on the outside to make your third loop. And to tighten it, since it's a taut, it's supposed to be a taut knot. You're just gonna go slide it, whoop. You're gonna go slide it up, just like here. And you have it nice and taut. You can adjust it down here a little bit, and that's your ridge line. It's a good looking ridge line there, Eagle Eyes. Good Thank job. You. Thank you. So the next step would be to put the tarp over it and see what, what our shelter looks like. So I'm going to take this part. We can uh, put it in there, put it over it. That looks pretty good. Uh, I guess, Eagle Eyes, go inside and see if it, if it works. Okay. Get a little way in there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, looks good. I think you did a good job. Yeah, you did do a good job. I'd say we're almost done with this with this whole process. What's left to do? Well, you know, I have my neckerchief here, but I don't have a woggle. So, Eagle Eyes, I need you to please make me a new woggle so I can wear my neckerchief nicely. Okay, so now we're going to go make our woggle. And for this, you're just going to need a piece of paracord, about three feet in length. Uh, and we're making a woggle with two strands, as a, like two passes of the rope. You can also do a three pass, but that just requires a little bit more rope. But we're just going to do the two, the two pass version. So to start it out, we're going to be basing the woggle off of our two fingers, forming it a... Uh, forming it off of our two fingers so that it makes uh, a hole and can be used as a slide. So uh, let's get into it. So we have our, our piece and we're just going to lay it on our two fingers just like this. We're going to make an X. So just an X like that. And then a second X right here. And from here, we're just going to turn it over. So now, uh, this right strand, we're just going to take our uh, rope 
and we're just going to put it pull it under and then pull it all the way through okay and okay now from here uh, in order to create our weave we're going to take this left strand and we're going to go push it over our right strand just like this twist it just like that so you can see that and this hole and we're going to take our running end and put it under and through this hole from the left side so have to just fit it in and if you have tweezers it will be much easier to use it to have tree, uh, tweezers and uh, you know pass pass the rope through the weave and make the weave it's just gonna be easier if you have that if not you should be fine and we're now we're going to set uh, the weave in the opposite end, taking our right strand and push, pushing it over our left strand. We're going to take, uh, again, the running end and just push it under and through the, the lower strand of the rope. So, just push it through and bring it out. Okay. Now from here we're going to turn this around and now uh, you can see that our weave is all set but from here we're going to be starting to just double up all the way around the weave starting from our in initial uh, starting point which is you know our strand here. So we're going to take this and put it under and through this hole and now we're starting to double it up. So. Uh, we're just going to be following uh, this strand all the way around the weave to double it up. So uh, in order to double it, you have to open up this strand and push it through there. Pull out. And continue on your way around. So open it up here. And again, push it through. And if you need to... Uh, go back to a step you can always pause and rewatch parts of this video which is certainly fine and we'll also be posting up uh, a page that has written instructions and shows and shows pictures of each step so we're just gonna turn around here just like this and again we're just gonna keep on following that main strand all the way around the weave so uh, pulling up the the ends and Pulling it through, keeps on following, pushing it through again, just pulling it out, again, taking it here, and pushing it through. Okay, from here, again, we're going to be turning it over, just like this, let's get to see where, okay, so we have to take it under here, and push it through that little weave. Okay, from, from this point to make it, uh, as you can see, now we're finishing it up uh, with all the doubling, and we're going to be eventually facing uh, two strands, so I'm just going to take it out carefully, and this will make the process easier and faster of pu putting the, the string through the hole, but um, make sure not to uh, 
smush or uh, make your woggles any smaller. And the beauty of this is that when you're done, if you can, you're, you can easily readjust it, which I can show by uh, taking out any slack to widen it. So we just follow it through here. And that's my cat. <laughs> push it through here, keep on following it, and now we've reached the end. So this is the woggle, the finished product. And now to finish it off, you'll see that the um, you need to get the two ends to meet, and what you can do is that you can either fuse them together uh, by burning it, or you can just tuck it in. Major woggle, here it is back. Okay, great, thank you. Let's see how this fits. Pretty good, thank you. So, we had a good session on Monday. Yeah. We, co we covered a few things. I know you explained and demonstrated a couple of knots. Yeah, I explained and demonstrated the sheet bend knot, the taut line hitch, and the two half hitch knots. And you also explained and demonstrated this very important woggle, yes, which I appreciate. I so, what's next for us? What are we going to do? So, this Wednesday, we will be having a live instruction session where we will be going over some tips and tricks on those three knots and the woggle. And it's important for you guys to have your three feet of rope to make all these knots and woggle. Yeah, you're also going to need this, a tree. Yeah. All right, great. So we're going to see you all on Wednesday where we're going to get to uh, demonstrate again some of these knots and maybe you'll be able to do some with us. And then what's next for the scouts? So after Wednesday, um, we want to see you guys be enabled with the stuff that we taught you and share your woggle and maybe some of your knots, some of your knots uh, on by Friday uh, with the link that is included on week four's, four's uh, email. You'll see there's a link there and you can post pictures and videos of your completed Sounds good, Eagle Eyes. Thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing all of you on Wednesday.